Hi guys, so in episode 6 of the beginner series, we're going to go through how to flat and polish a panel. So what we're going to do on this side is we're just going to give it a full flat and a full polish. And then on the other side, we're going to give it just a nib and a polish. So you can see the differences that you will get in the two different finishes from those flat and polishing processes. Okay, so first things first, let's take a look at this panel. Now, since the last video we did using this panel, I have actually re-cleared this panel without tap ragging it off as much, so we could get it a little bit dirtier, so we could just show for you guys the difference, obviously. This is a bit more relatable to what you'd be getting in a sort of DIY environment with a little bit more dirt in the clear than obviously we would get in our spray booth. So, on this front side here, and it will take a little bit of catching in the light, the front edge I didn't tack off as much. So down here around this area we've got some dirt nibs which hopefully do show up on camera and also we've got quite a few around there. So for me really, although we've got a nice finish on this wing and we've got also, I don't know if you can just tell, we've got a few on the top as well there. So this side is what we're going to be giving a full flat and polish to make that nice and clean and nice and neat again. Now on the other side, we've got a few big nibs as you can see there, but there's only a couple. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give this side a quick nib and a polish. Um, so we don't take all the peel out of this side. And then on this side, we're going to give this a full flat and polish so you can see the differences between the two processes. And also the difference in finish that it will give you as well. We'll get a nice close up of that at the end of the video. So as far as what you will need, there isn't actually a massive amount that you will actually need to be flat and polishing a panel. Now we've got a buffer here. This is the buffer that we use. These are around about 50, 60 pounds on Amazon and all this stuff that we're using here i will leave a link in the description for you as well so you know where you can grab it from so we've just got a cheap rotary buffer off amazon which is you know it'll do it'll do the job especially for you diy guys that don't want to spend the money on you know 150 200 pound buffer we've got a roops and now this is a one of the roops medium to hard heads this is the head that we'll be using for compound and the compound that we'll be using will be the Menzerna Super Heavy Cut 300. Now this is what we use in the shop. We buy, obviously buy it in the litre bottles, but I will leave links in the description to this because you can also get this in the little 250ml bottles. So if you're doing a little job at home, then you can buy this in a smaller bottle and you don't have to go for the massive bottle. But again, I will leave links in the description to all this. Now that will be the compounding stage, so the cutting stage that will get rid of our wet flat marks. Now wet flat, we're just going to use the P2000. We use the Stark P2000 because it cuts really well, it lasts long, and it gives it a really nice finish when polished. Now, once we've got everything polished, obviously we need, or everything cut, we need to put a little bit of shine back on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, again, the Menzerna medium cut polish. Um, it's the 200 version. This is what we use just as a de-hologrammer and just to put that extra bit of gloss on the panel when we're done with the polishing stage. And we just use literally a soft foam pad. Inside the wet flat, I'm just going to use a, a little foam block um, just for the purpose of nibbing the actual nibs out of the panel. Now you can do it by hand, you can use a block in it. It tends to be personal preference. I prefer without a block, but it is entirely up to you. And also we've got two microfibers. They're both clean and washed. One we're going to use for removing the water, which we've got um, for the wet flatting process in the pump up bottle. The second one we're going to use obviously for the cut and the polish, just to make sure that everything is kept nice and clean. So there's not a massive amount of stuff you actually need. Now the only thing that I have got here extra, which is more for the point of the video, is one of the Freckler G Plus pens. We can use this for marking out these nibs in a minute. So the first thing that we're going to get into is we're just going to make, inspect this panel. We're going to mark the nibs out before we start so we know what we're flattening and we know what we're not going to flat. Okay, so as we're looking at the panel here, this side we're just going to give it a light nib and a polish and this side we're going to fully wet flat. So really we don't need to mark this left side up because we're going to give this a full flat. Now on this side I want to try and keep this more of a factory finish so you can see obviously we've got the factory finish peel 
and then we want to nib these out now without giving this a completely flat finish so the first thing that we need to do is just identify these little marks so all i'm going to do is just find these little nibs that we need to nib out and put a little tiny dot next to them just to highlight them so that when things get wet in a minute when we start putting the water on we can just give those a tiny little nib and obviously polish those out and flat those out without losing those so we're just going to wet the block down put a little bit of water on there and then we're just going to take these little nibs that we've got and we're just going to lightly just nib these out nice and gently not too much pressure and we're just going to take those nibs back down now one thing that we don't want to do if we want to keep that nice factory finish so we've got a little bit of a nib up there Again, just nice light, even pressure across that. And just try and feather it out a tiny little bit. Don't just scrub in one area. Because if you don't feather it out a little bit, the chances are that we could end up with a little bit of an uneven finish um, with having a flat spot where we've taken this nib out. And then, as I said, we're just gonna go around one by one, just nib out these tiny little nibs. Because um, even, you know, even in a proper boob, if you do get dirt, it does happen from time to time. Um, so learning how to deal with these is obviously a big part of painting. And, you know, I'd love to say it's every single job comes out clean and nice, but it's just not the way that it happens in the real world. You know, as much as we can say that, oh yeah, every single job is immaculate, you know, especially for you guys at home, it's not always possible to get that perfectly immaculate job. Okay, so that's, those that have been nibbed out, those that have been nibbed out. Now, there is a way to check to make sure that you've got these out properly once you've finished nibbing these out and that is basically we will just i'll just do that one halfway and then i can demonstrate we'll just dry this panel off now you can see the flatted off areas on this panel now quite prominently and you can see here there's no sign of any nib but you see if you can just see there where the nibs are there's still a tiny little bit of a glossed ring around where those nibs were now that means that we need to just take that that tiny tiny little bit further because if we don't that little nib there is just going to show up so once we've dried it off and we've just used that just to check it a tiny bit we'll just take those little nibs down that little bit further and then we know then that they're gone so i'm happy with that now those nibs have gone off from that side so that's the nibbing side done and we only need to do those little areas we don't need to flat and polish the whole panel because the finish on the rest of the panel is clean it's nice it's factory so we don't need to go into flatting the whole side on that side okay so as i said the front section is what i didn't tack cloth off so the front section has got a lot of dirt in it so what we're going to do is we're going to wet this front section up And we're going to use nice, light, even pressure again over this whole front section. But this time, we're going to go for a fully flat finish across the whole front of this panel. Now, you can, people say that you need to do this in small circles, like I'm doing here. Um, personally, I prefer to just kind of block across it with the palm on my hand, just to knock it down. I find that works better for me. But again, everybody is different. Now, also, some people like to put soap in the water. Personally, for me, I don't find the need. Um, I just use straight neat water in the spray bottle and then just wet flat that with straight water in the bottle rather than messing around with soapy water. Now, once you've given it a light go over, always make sure, obviously, on your panel edges, on your swage lines, that you're not rubbing too hard. We don't want to burn through any of those and cause us problems Obviously, when we get to the polishing stage, maybe that we've taken a little bit too much clear off those edges. Because um, if we take a little bit too much clear off those edges, and then when we start cutting the panel itself, we then run the risk, obviously, of burning through. And that's the last thing that you want once you've got a nice, clean prep panel. So as you can see on this section here, now we've given this a good flat. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to give this a quick little inspection. So all we need to do, again, is just get that cloth we used before, dry this down, and then as soon as this is dried off, we'll be able to see whether or not we've taken that peel out of the panel or not. Right, so you can see here now, 
on this section we've got a fully matted off finish that means that all the peels been taken out and there's no dirt nibs and you can see down here where it's a little bit patchy where some of it's still glossy and some of it's um, been taken down to a matte finish that's not been flattered enough compared to that so what we want to do is basically we're going to continue on this panel now and we're going to make the whole panel a nice matte finish like it is there Okay guys, so just a quick one while you are watching this little clip of me wet flatting this. It turns out that over 74% of you guys watching these videos aren't subscribed. So if you just do me a little quick favour at this point, pause this video, head down to the bottom corner and just give this a subscribe and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and also you've got the bell notifications switched on for when we have a new upload. Okay, so obviously you can see the difference in these two panels. This side, we have literally only nibbed and polished what we needed to, which is just the little dirt nibs that are in that panel. And on this side, we've given this a full flat and polish. So we've taken all the peel out, all the imperfections, absolutely everything from this side. Now we're gonna polish these up in exactly the same way. We're not gonna do anything different on this side to what we're gonna do from this side, obviously. Apart from the fact that this side we are going to polish the whole section, whereas this side we only really need to polish the small areas. And then we'll, on this side we'll go over with the soft one, just over the whole bit, just to make sure it's nice and even when we're finished. Now there is an optional stage that you could use, which is a 3M Trizact. Um, we use these in a P3000, which you could use then over this wet flat finish to then refine that down to being a 3000 rather than a 2000. But if you're using something like the Menzerna cutting compound that we're using, then the 2000 scratches won't be an issue. Also, this wing has been sat now for over a week after it was baked. So this is really hard and fully cured. So at this point, that's probably at its hardest. Uh, and it's best as well to be cutting and polishing this because we know now if we cut and polish this and it comes up to a nice finish, that it will stay that way. And what I mean by that is because this is really well cured, there's a lot less chance of this dying back after this polish, as long as we polish this properly. So. As we're cracking through this now, we're just going to put a few small spots on these nibs. And this is all I would do on a normal car if I just wanted to give a little quick nib and a polish. And I've just used that little area of the wing there just to wet the pad up a tiny little bit. You don't need to go soaking the whole pad um, full of cutting compound. There isn't any need. You can just stick to a very small amount. Um, you don't need to go overloading it. Um, I've seen on videos before where they're putting like a big round swirl circle of polish on the pad first and you just end up with an absolute giant mess flying all over your workshop or all over your car if this is on your car now one thing that you really don't want to do especially with something like this super heavy cut is you need to let the mop do the work so we've got this on sort of a medium speed so we're not ripping into this panel we're just ri literally just letting the weight of the polisher push that pad in a little bit and we're not putting high pressure on or anything like that and we're just gently gently working around in a nice sort of even uniform overlap just to work these down and you can see through the polish as you're doing it that it is actually cutting it up and glossing it up so don't get like overly confident with really sort of like pushing this polish it into the panel and really trying to almost grind these out you literally you don't need it a decent cutting compound will take these out without any real pressure from yourself pushing on that polisher i mean literally this panel is almost just hanging on this stand so if i was putting a lot of pressure on this i would be moving this stand and everything all over the spray booth floor at this point so once you think you've got it up to a nice stage and you think you've glossed those up and as you can see that took literally seconds to get those nibs out wipe it off just give it a quick little inspection just to see if there's any areas you've missed if there is just give them a second little bit of a go over just to make sure that they are fully glossed and any scratches or any marks from obviously your wet flatting process is removed and then once that's done we can just give that a quick clean up and we know then that that nibbed and polished side is good to go now this is a very quick and efficient way of getting a really nice clean finish on a panel if you have got that nice clean gun finish now for the diy guys out there who might be getting a lot more dust then this side of the panel is probably going to be where you're going to be polishing more 
Now, when I come to polish a panel, I will break a panel up into sections in my mind and I will work one section at a time until that section is completed. And then, once I think that section is completed, I will move on to the next section. Exactly the same, just a small to medium amount of polish on the head. We don't want to go absolutely overloading this head. We just want enough on there that it's lubricating that pad and we're getting a nice cut. Putting too much on there when the pad gets warm, all that extra polish that you put on the pad is just going to turn hard. It's going to start flicking everywhere, it's going to start gripping on the panel and it's going to start causing you loads of problems. Now, also when you're running on the panel edges and stuff like that, you want to keep the rotation of the buffer coming off the edge of the panel. So you don't want to be abrasive on those edges. Also angle your mop into those tight little gaps and those tight little grooves so you can get that nice even polish all over the panel and again just you know take your time and work it i have sped this up because obviously i didn't think you guys would want to spend the next sort of few minutes sitting there watching me polish that front end but now we have got it to a point where i think that that is cut enough then my go to check for a polished panel would be to spray it with panel wipe give it a good scrub the panel wipe will remove any polish residue or any glossing agents from your cutting compound and whatever finish you are seeing now has been solvently cleaned so we've got a nice clean paint finish if you are happy with that finish and it all looks nice it's got no scratches it's got no dull patches left in it then we can move on to the soft head and we can use like basically a swirl remover medium cut polish then on this panel and we're just going to do pretty much the same i'm just going to put a little bit more on the pad um, and just load that pad up a tiny little bit more and then we're just going to give this a nice medium speed nice and slow again a little bit like painting we want to work on a nice little overlap to make sure that we get a nice even gloss across this panel and um, again you don't need a lot of pressure you just let them the polisher itself do the work and the point of this um, I probably wouldn't use this on a light color I'd only really use it on darker colors like this and it's just to remove any swirl marks or any holograms from the harsh cutting process on lighter colors you're really not going to need it but on a darker color like this we want to make sure there's no swirl marks and no holograms left over now you could go to the point of using a DA type de hologrammer if you really wanted to Again, you can get them quite cheap for around about 40 50 pounds, right up to like the four, five, six hundred pound mark. Um, personally, for how often we use one, we've just got a cheap 60 pound one, but we don't really use it that often at all, unless it is like a pure black car these days. And the more abrasive you are with the cutting stage, and also the darker the color, the more any swirl marks and holograms will show up. So it is kind of key to make sure that you keep your pad lubricated enough but not over lubricated and just take your time don't rush this stage because you spent this all this time getting this panel looking really nice what you don't want to do now is rush this stage make a mistake put too much pressure on a panel edge and burn through the paint because obviously as we're doing this we're putting heat into the panel so you don't want to keep the polisher in one place you want to keep the polisher moving give it an even spread of that heat that's going into it don't leave it in one place and let that heat soften the paint up because then it will take the smallest little catch and the smallest little bit of friction to then take the you know the paint off the edge of a panel um, it is again another process that does take a little bit of time to perfect um, but I'd say it's quite an easy stage as you can see this apart from obviously this is broken down a lot so we could do this tutorial that is quite a quick and easy process now that is our fully polished side and that is our peely side now hopefully on the camera you can see the difference and see that there's still quite a bit of peel on the right compared to the left but what I will say is when you get this panel outside you will see very little difference between the two finishes now on a factory car you will probably notice a mirrored panel against a peely panel but in this scenario then it's very unlikely that you are going to see it Okay guys, so that is it for part six in the beginner's video series. I think in part seven, what we're gonna do is move on to some two-pack direct gloss and go through the application of two-pack direct gloss. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And also give it a share on social media and help the channel grow. Bye for now.